Oh, man. So, congratulations. All right. I appreciate that. I, I heard Thank you're you so 1% much. of time. 1%, yeah, bro. I just nice. found out I did my ancestry, uh, that shit. S- Submit it online. Spit, spit your blood on the shit and then whatever. How does it feel to be a time? It feels good, bro. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I started watching Casino over and I'm like, uh, kind of reminds me of me, the real me. like a little more mozzarella right now. More mozzarella? Yeah. Nah. That's my guy, though. That's my Did guy. you borrow the zucchini from him or no? This? Yeah, yeah this is his. Yeah, yeah. This is his. He's swagged out over here. I mean, I had to get it. It's the more mozzarella collection. Sergio Tachini, what up? You know? <laughs> you know, give us a little bag, you know? A couple, couple of packs. Yeah, this had me a nice box, too. Did he do it? No, they, no, they really did, though. I know. I'm really trying to get one, though. Hey, nice. I'm going to talk to my people. Yeah? You now got a guy? I, now that I'm a made man. <laughs> you know, you feel me? I'm going to talk to my people. See what they can, you know, your guy is going to call our guy? He's a wise guy. And he's going to call your guy. So you think Tikini's back? Who? I mean, now T- it's back. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. It's officially back? It's track season? Not that it's track season. It's, I just feel since I'm 1% Italian, it's, it fits better. Like, I could wear it any day. Mm-hmm. Wedding, funeral. Coming to Tachini, just kill it, bro. And it fits you always perfect. If you like ate too much and it's a little yeah, tighter, it's a little loose, no problem. I'm ready to work out anytime. It's true. And I break. I'm always ready to collect. And I break the wind when I'm walking. It's crazy. For one percent of time, bro. That's that's big. That's huge. A lot of people wish they had that. But, <laughs> Listen, you know what's what's like your favorite Italian food? My favorite Italian food, I would probably say uh, lasagna. Lasagna. Yeah. Lasagna. I like lasagna. Now. The other 99%, you got a little Puerto Rican in there? It's Puerto Rican mixed with Colombian, half and half, more or less. Do Puerto Ricans make lasagna or not? Nah? Yeah, we make lasagna. We actually make it better, I think. Oh, again, we're going with this? I'm just saying, though. I'm just saying, though. Y'all we had a Dominic- one of my Dominican friends said that, and we did a whole episode on it. Do is it is it because I think it's because you guys don't put meat in the, in the lasagna. He is said this- we don't put seasonings in the meat. Nah, I don't said- mind that. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I feel like we're have to say pause at some point. We're talking about seasonings, meat, or we I mean, don't put meat. You, this is your show, bro. Press play, pause, <laughs> you know, wine. Whatever you want to do. We can say whatever we want. Exactly. Every time I see you, Ken, it's like you've been around for. What the fuck is going on? Oh no! Oh, oh, shit. What are you this doing fucking here? Guy. <laughs> I'm not getting up, bro. Come on, bro. Let's play a game. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm, we're not doing it. That's not gonna work. Mario, Mario. Not doing it. <laughs> I'm one percent Italian. You hear me? I'm a boss. Look at me. That's Don Ken. Oh, Don Ken. Yeah. Yo, Ken, you think you could pull off that suit right there? This suit right here. I don't know if they made it for men. <laughs> <laughs> you hear me, baby? <laughs> Take a seat, Mario. Take a seat. What are you doing here? Ah, uh, here it goes. Take a seat, take a seat, man. I keep sucking. Give him a mic. Give him the mic. Yeah, lucky for you, we got one right here. Yeah, there we there go. It is. Keep sucking on that straw over there. You look good. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Mario. What's up? What's going on, boys? What's going on? What's up, baby good nuts? You, bro, Ken? <laughs> so, Mario, our friend Ken found out he's one percent of time. Oh, congratulations, Muzzle. What's Muzzle? What? Muzzle and Jewish. You know they say Muzzle tough. He's Italian. I'm Italian, a, bro. All right, salute. Chindan. 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 Chindan, you know? Chindan, aguri, you know? All that right. mazel was for the people that said I'm not Italian and I'm not Sicilian. That I keep explaining, like, you're 700% Italian. Your sister's ass is 700% Italian, okay? Hmm. Let's go. Yeah, I don't believe you, bro. <laughs> What's I don't happening? Believe you. Right now? You're full Italian? 100%. Mother nah. and father. I think Ken's more Italian than nah. you. 100%. My mother and father were born in Sicily. I've never seen an Italian wear a bow tie like that in my hey, fucking listen, life, bro. <laughs> brother, when we are in the entertainment industry like us, you know, we have to dress to impress. Today you went to the to the uh, old vintage store and you went to find uh, the prop outfit for this video. 
<laughs> okay, I guess, but uh. They said dress to impress. I, I mean, and I'm not impressed yet. <laughs> Technically, but, uh, I didn't say dress to impress, though. Well, you said dress nice, no? Not, not to you, not kids. to either of you. Ah. Uh-huh. I don't think I'll ever tell Look a grown man what to wear. Look at this Bacalaro What is he wearing? Yeah, Super well, Mario Brothers. This is the real Mario. This is the, the OG Ma- Mario. I'm the real That's OG. A, he's more excited than you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, this yeah. plumber from Brooklyn? Yeah, that's right. I'm you got coming. nothing on him. I got nothing on him. He ain't got nothing on me. Speaking right. of Super Mario, did you watch the movie, Mario? No, I haven't had a chance. I'm so busy. Yeah, you're not Italian, so- bro. <laughs> Every Italian whoa, whoa, was in whoa, there for whoa, that whoa, movie, whoa, bro. Whoa, 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 Because I'm not Italian because I didn't go see Super Mario, yep. but so that qualifies me. What about when Napoli won? What about when the soccer games win in, in Brooklyn and we turn it upside down, 18th Avenue, and we're ole, 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 ole. We're screaming <laughs> to the streets with the flag and the, and the, the cannonies and all your sister's asses. You're kidding me? That proves to me because I didn't go see that little motherfucker on the screen. The motherfucker. He's on Super Mario. All right? Mario, I got to ask you. Let's go. Does it ever get tight by your belly? You know, that the pants go all the way up over there? No, these are not high waters. No? No, these are not knickers, so they're comfortable. All right. (laughs) (laughs) Knickerbockers. 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 I like to wear sometimes. I like to have clothes that are a little vintage, but they're not vintage. They're mine, but I... I pick them to be a little tight, so I look stylish. You yeah, know? but you also look like you can't breathe. That's all right. I could breathe. That's why, you know. I could breathe. You look, right. you look smooth. I could breathe. What'd you get? The garbage bag, the glad garbage bag, and you turned it upside down. Exactly. Uh, okay. What the? Next. <laughs> 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 so That's weird to rest. All right. So, so Ken, we found out Ken is 1%, like Sabina was saying. What's, what's your best advice to him now, going forward? First thing first, we'll get a nice Sicilian tattoo. Mm-hmm. Like he, he's, he said he's a Italian, not Sicilian. Okay, Italian. So, we'll get the flag tattooed, get rid of this outfit because you look like little Mo, but tan. Everybody sound like <laughs> Wow, it's crazy. Those Versace glasses given back to the Chinese. You got them on the corner for $20. Or the cab driver that brought you here? Yeah, <laughs> yeah the cab yeah, driver brought on, me here. I came in in a shabing bing shuttle. I did shuttle come in bang. in a shabing bing shuttle, and the guy was dying, 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 $20. Yo, Mario's oh, just man. trying to get canceled. Yeah, he's trying to get canceled, bro. Today's the day. No, today's no, the guys, today's the day it happens. No, no. It was a, it was a great run. <laughs> the guy, 260 episodes. Thanks for coming, Mario's everybody. Us. Us. The, guy, the guy didn't understand English, and I'm giving him 100 albums. Go, wee, like he never saw one people. Wee, and I was like. Wow. <laughs> I never seen somebody hold the microphone like that. What am I do? <laughs> it looks like you got a sausage by you. I'm holding nice, it. Man. It's not a roller coaster. Sit down. <laughs> roller coasters. Let's not talk Wait, about roller coasters. Is this the fucking guy that was talking about the Tony Soprano story? Yeah. 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 What else? Well, well little- listen. Go over there and pray to my Jesus Christ right here. Where's your Jesus and Christ? Tell him how your story is bullshit, bro. That ain't bullshit, bro. Absolutely ain't bullshit. And I Yo, tell you Mara, that once, I'll tell you all, again. All seriousness, though. That was probably the most viral video from our last... I, it was, and everybody's it was saying that the this story's a lie. No, it's not a lie. Absolutely not. Not one comment said, wow. Amazing. <laughs> there were some wows. There were some wows. But no, it's I'm absolutely... Like, wow, he's a good actor. <laughs> wow. No, but he... He, he is, I got to tell you, um, it's had, his anniversary is just about the hit um, that he passed. Fantastic human being to ever work with. Anything you wanted on yeah, the Yeah, but menu. did you actually work with him? Sure, I worked <laughs> with him. What are you crazy? Can you tell us that story again? You want the story Just again? <laughs> okay, so we did the pilot. We filmed at the house in Jersey. The gorgeous they house. Let you, they let you walk in that house? I am, I'm not going to finish my story. You're going to keep interrupt. You want me to come and heckle your jokes? Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> okay, so I'm in the set. And um, we're about to film, and there's some dialogue that needs to be said in Italian. Now, James Gandolfini and I had seen, he had seen me and my mother speak Italian at lunch. And he was in the white terracloth bathrobe, comfortably fitted, hey, yo. just like my pants. And he took his tray, and he came and sat on the left of my mother. So I just want to get one thing straight, because that, that was the story you said. Yeah, I was just trying yeah. to And you were backing and forth and backing and forth. We were backing and forth, me and my mother, and he kind of liked that. That Italian, that Sicilian um, talking of us. And he, when we were filming, there was times he would come to me go, how do you say this, how do you say that? Or we, the barbecue scene, where 
Vincent Pastor, Big Pussy, when he had to do a scene when they did the baptism, was a baptism communion of AJ. He they had to say some words. I was there. I was there. So you're really doubling down on the lie. Oh, it's not a lie. Trust me. Right. Pleasure well, me. This is how I know it was a lie. Can it's I not be a lie. Let, it's not a lie. I'm telling you it's not a lie. Because you can't be a talent either. I know it was a lie because how do they have a TV show and it's not in the script? And they got to like use improv from you. Because there were words in Italian. And sometimes they have either spoken guys that speak it, like in the studio, or they have him do it. And sometimes and they, they didn't have an Italian in, translated. It was, not, it was the first day on the set. It was first day on the set. It was the first day. What were the words? Do you remember? I don't remember the Mozzarella. script. No, no, that's no. That's no, that's no. something about La Familia, about because he was Christopher wanted to become a Hollywood. It was about him going to Hollywood and trying to make it as a writer and stuff. And 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 uh, Tony Soprano says to him, "Now you want to go to Hollywood? You want to be in Hollywood?" And he said some words to him about you know, "Kiste una familia, tu no esté la Whatever the words were that were said, I remember that was we filmed. I would the, remember those words for us. That was twenty three years were. ago. <laughs> But I got to tell you, one of the most greatest... Why are you digging yourself in a deeper a, grave? Just say you lied, bro. I'm not lying. I swear to you. I'm my mother and my father, six feet under. I kind of believe him now. I'm not going to lie. I'm telling you, bro. Do you? You believe him? I kind sure. of believe him. Look, I, I, see, I see him sweating, but it's not like Sweat? nerves. I'm not sweating. Believe me, I'm not sweating. We had, I got to tell you, one. he's one of the best people ever. I worked on a lot of films. I worked on used people. I worked Godfather 3. One of the best people. People to ever work with was this man right here. Rest Mr. in peace to a legend. Yeah, yeah, legend what, and What did you do in Godfather 3? Godfather 3, I was the author boy. I was in the author boy when... Um, they do, was Bill Cosby on that set too? No. <laughs> Yo. no Why are you picking on he my... Has, he has a picture with Bill Cosby though. It's crazy. Why are you picking... talk about that story? Yeah, how, how did you meet him? I met Bill Cosby in Brooklyn. We were filming at NBC in Brooklyn, East 14th Street and Avenue M. And I bumped into a friend of mine. I go, why you got ice cream? She goes, oh, I just bumped into Lisa Bonet. And Lisa Bonet, we were like, you know, she was wearing the milk. You're milky. dropping heavy names. And, yeah, yeah, for real. And no. she, Is there somebody we could call? So you taught him how to be Italian too? No, I did not tell him that to be a time. Thank you from the audience. Uh -huh. <laughs> from the peanut gallery. From, from, the from peanut my podcast producer, you mean? The podcast producer, <laughs> thank you. I love his hat, L.A. baby. Yeah, um, so I went back a couple of times. I went back, and by now security, I remember the first day I met Mr. Cosby. He was wearing a gray jogging suit. He had a glass of coffee and milk and a, and a cigar. Do you think he looked handsome? He put handsome? the cigar in his, hand, in his mouth. He put the coffee and glass and the milk in his hand. And he shook my hand and he changed my life. Do you remember that, but not the line from the Soprano show? <laughs> fuck you think I remember everything well, I, I do? I was detailed. on NYPD Blue for like a bunch of episodes. You think I remember all my lines? <laughs> you remember? Oh. You don't even remember half your jokes. My fungal. My fungal. So, Matt, what do you know about Ken? Ken is a comedian. Sometimes. Sometimes. And the other half of the time? Asshole. He's copping, he's time cop, asshole. He's copping little Moe's <laughs> outfits. I did. You borrowed him, you called him up, you said, Mo. I need it. I'm 1%. I'm 1%. Ken, have, have you ever, have you ever done stand-up before? Yeah, I've done stand-up before. Listen, he's 1% one one Russian. Is he fighting Putin? Is he fighting Ukraine? He should be. Wait, why would he be doing that? Because he's 1% Russian. Yeah. 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 said on the screen. Oh, it said it on your on Eastern your European dash Russian 1%. Yeah, why are you We're going to talk about the 1% over here. I'm to here on my part for Italy. You over here. <laughs> yeah. out I, I, don't, I don't associate with that part for sure. Oh, okay. okay. You know? You got to be politically correct. This is a family mozzarella show. Mozzarella or mozzarella? Mozzarella. Mozzarella. What mozzarella your sister says? Mozzarella. So teach teach him some Italian words or tell him to say them. Say capacul. Capacul. It's capicola. Capicola. You said it for the second time. Is it, these say, words real? Say capicola. Are these words real? That was like, that that was like a trick are question. Are these words real? <laughs> it's a trick question. Say, <laughs> say, say capicola, but it's capicola. Right. Say prosciutto. Prosciutto. Prosciutto babbo. What? Why are you saying it different? Why are you trying to trick yeah, him? You're supposed to teach him. Man, that's yeah. crazy. I'm teaching. I want to see what he's going to say. And then I'm going to give him like the one above. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> don't give him yeah. that. I don't want anything. Yeah. So I heard they got a lot of questions for us. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Let's yeah, go. I mean, it's man. been the Mario show so far. Yeah. yeah. Well, you invited me, right? Yeah, but you yeah, still I spent $23 well, we on a cab. Mm. Minga. $20. Put on the invoice. Put on the invoice. We'll take care of it. Yeah, send, send it you to You know, the trap is for me and... Uh, 
Sabino had at the uh, Abracadabra. Sabino goes, only $100 you could spend. Well, that's when we dressed him up as Cupid. I ran to that store, and I bought everything. And he goes, like, we need this. And he says, yeah, Nico, you're right. He goes, who's paying for it? Sabino, oh, just pick everything. I go, to hell with it. <laughs> the bill was like 200 and something. dollars. get And he goes, Sabino goes, well, what would you buy in this store? You broke a window? What the hell do you do? Take a skeleton off the wall? That's the Morte de Femme special. The right Morte there. de Femme special. You know what that means? No. Uh, Morte de Femme. When somebody's like a cheap bastard. Morte de Femme? Yeah. You ever, Mort, Morte de Femme. Morte de Femme. Morte de Femme. Is yeah. there something similar to that in like Spanish or no? It's like, like um, dying hungry. of hunger. Dying, dying it means hungry. dying of hunger, oh, but it means like you're a sleaze Muerto ball. Muerto de hambre. Yeah, 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 Muerto de hambre, yeah. yeah. Muerto the same de hambre. Yeah, same concept. Muerto de hambre. What part of Puerto Rico are you from? Uh, Carolina. Carolina, I was and there. My, my mom is Colombia. I was in uh, San Sebastián, Isabella. I'm going to ask. I'm going to go to those cities and yeah. I'm going to ask if he was there. Show pictures of him. Imoto? Did you <laughs> go to the Imoto? We need the receipts. No, I don't, I don't I know. I love the Imoto. It's where the train used to go through. They stopped the train. They graffiti all in the tunnel. They sell bracelets and you jewelry. just explain every city in the world. <laughs> no, he's <laughs> playing. There's graffiti. <laughs> <laughs> no, and Imoto is it, um, nice. I like your pocketbooks up there, Sabino. What is that? The uh, what are you pastilla? saying, bro? Why, why are you giving me the most random compliment? The, the Ranzoni pocketbook? Is that Ranzoni? No, that's the Chico, right? The Chico? Oh, it's, it's somebody made like a... Uh, it's another handbook, somebody handbook. Oh, handbook right. That's somebody made. You didn't invite me to your uh, Times Square or Square Garden, say whatever. Oh, he, you should have I, I mailed it to you. You didn't mail Stugatze, you mailed it. Must have got lost. What happened yeah. in Times Square? <laughs> We you know, did a little billboard for our million followers on Instagram. Yeah, I knew. I'm surprised you saw that. I saw. I, I, I see everything. Believe me. I, I, you want to know Jesus something? Christ? You wouldn't even believe me. I am. You wouldn't oh, even believe man. me. I was in the area, but I didn't even know like what the, I didn't like look up. I was going to my shows. On, I went down 42nd. I cut to 43rd, 44th to the to the Broadway area of the shows. I cut to that. Came out on 46th, and I went down to 8th Avenue. But if I would have known. But don't you wake up at 3 p.m.? 3 p.m., your yeah, sister's we were, ass. That's what he said last yeah, time. He said last time. What's 3 p.m.? 3 p.m. Now no more. I'm bartending now. I'm making espresso martinis. What the hell are you fucking serving <laughs> drinks at? <laughs> so much. Serving drinks at? I'm like yeah. nutcrackers. Are, nut are you old enough to sell drinks? Yeah, I'm doing like espresso martini nutcrackers. Espresso martini nutcrackers. I'm going to go to Coney Island. For some reason, if I just saw you saying that, I'd run the other way. Yeah, for real. No, you wouldn't. You'd be like, give me two of them. Let me see what you made out of. You're like, you pissing your How dress. do you make a good espresso martini? Like, give es- us the breakdown. Espresso, you get a choice of vodka, whatever you want. Grey Goose, you want uh, Kettle One, you want um, Tito. So then I put a shot of that, a shot of um, so espresso. You use warm espresso? Yeah, one shot of espresso. One shot of vodka and then one shot of coffee liqueur and then I shake it well and hey. then easy, easy, easy. shake Whoa. it well. Whoa. <laughs> right there. <laughs> I shake it all well and then I pour I, I pour it and then what I do is I take um a little bit of Bailey's and I pour it down in the middle of in the glass and it just separates in the alcohol and the coffee and I put three coffee beans. I put the name of the father, the son, and your sister's ass. Nice. I'm sure God is very proud yeah. of me. Proud of me. Proud of me. I know you love me, Jesus. I'm making you proud with your espresso martinis. That would be a special type of bar. Have you My nut chiquita Ken, what's your morning routine like? What's uh, the first thing you do when you wake up? Roll up, smoke a blunt, walk my dog. Check Instagram. That's the first Insta- thing I do. I mean, yeah, check Instagram. Me too. See you know messages, I mean? whatever. Yeah, I guess you. how many messages who send me what. My day don't usually start till like 1. What? You wake up at 1? No, no, no. I wake up like around 10. And then you like really start. My girl, my, girl wakes, my, my girl makes sure I wakes up early. <laughs> <laughs> what time do you move? Start moving around. Like when do you? Besides walking the door, coming in, taking a piss, and go back you to bed. You want to know at what time my body starts moving while I'm in bed? Yeah. <laughs> I can't tell you that, bro. No, I don't mean in bed. <laughs> Make you where like I'm when. Be at? Like get, when you get you, you get you coming up at ten o'clock, you getting up, you walk the dog, you I take think. a piss, you do do what you gotta do. You have a cup of swag of coffee, a small a blunt, then you go back to 11, bed. Eleven twelve o'clock, I'm on my house. Eleven twelve o'clock, I'm on my house. Nice. I'm doing what I gotta do. Nice. Probably I used to like be three a three in o'clock in the I afternoon like. person. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm a bango, bango everywhere, bro. But now I'm I gotta hold down the job because I gotta pay those bills, bitch. So you bartender. So I'm bought and I Are you still sleeping on the couch, Mario, or no? Yeah, I'm still on the couch. Nice. So, um, I soon I'm an old. Next time I'm we have you on, you'll have an apartment? 
I'm Is hoping so. I'm hoping to have an apartment in Little mattress? Italy. Well, I like an air mattress. Air mattress is comfortable, you know? I just saw a, a, a funny video about the air mattress, like the sound of an air mattress when you're trying to fill it up at the latest time. It's like... <laughs> Let me ask you a question. You got that buckle signing over there. How about I sign Gandolfini? Definitely Fini? not. If you do that, I'll snap your neck like a chicken. <laughs> The disrespect. You'll get there though one day. He um, I gotta tell you, he was a true gem. You really tripling down on this? <laughs> oh, yeah, another no. one. I gave you, I I, gave you a chance. Okay, let me ask you a question. I could we tell you, I could tell you who was nice and who was not nice. All right, so who was right, nice? Who was? But don't tell me to cut it out yeah, after, yeah, yeah. motherfucker. That's good. Like, last no. time you made me cut well, shit out because I you told got scared. Because I, because I don't want to fight with that bitch and a half, but. Mean, she yeah. threatened me that I stole her water. I told you last time she threatened that I stole her water. Like, right, forget about that. Forget about that. Literally, Sopranos cast. Sopranos. Who was the nicest? Gandolfini. Uh, Steve Van Zandt. Okay. Tony Sirico gave me a kick in the ass in front of the New York Times in front of Pip's Comedy Club. We did a benefit, and he gave me the kick in the ass in front, and my friend Anthony Mangano goes, you should have grabbed me because I would have kicked him in the ass. He just passed away. Uh, big pussy me. He first he was very nasty. Like he would, like when we'd be on set, like he go, I gotta study my lunch. You got two lunch. Get the fuck out of here. But we've grown on each other and we come about. Uh, the women, um, the girl, Zing, what's her name? Singer. Um, what the hell's her name? Singler. Singler. Yeah, she's right. better. Little Barry told me you like to play cards. Oh, I love playing cards. What do you play? Uh, if I'm in Vegas, I just got back from Vegas. Um, if I'm in Vegas, I'll play three card poker. And how much do you usually lose? No, I won. I really? won. Yeah, I did three cup of. Am I gonna do stay there? Yeah. No, I gotta come back. This is home to me. Right. You know, right. home is where you sleep. You like to play cards, kind of? I don't gamble, bro. No, I, you I gotta. Lose every time. <laughs> it's almost. Like, I mean, that's like me, but I feel a lot of times like. No, uh, no, no. I want to come to your scoopa challenge. Scoopa. 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 He's not Italian, bro. <laughs> I'm more Italian than him, bro. That, okay, why don't we do that Scopa uh, challenge thing where everybody... Scopa. I think we have, a, we have a date somewhere. Scopa. You hear yeah, it? Scopa. I want to play. I'm very Yo, Ken, Ken is more Italian than you. Italian, I bro. could play Scopa really well. I'd My be- grandfather used to sell oranges and prosciutto on the Deegan years ago. On the Deegan? Why he's slicing it right on the highway? Right there, on the highway. <laughs> there you right. go. I kind of believe him. <laughs> And that's where the one percent came from, my uh, grandfather. That bro. sounds more legit than the Tony Soprano story. Thank you, thank you, bro. What about pizza? What you feel? What do you mean with sauce and cheese? No, a nice margarita. Like okay. I have a friend of mine in LA. LA, hey. You um, love to drop names. Oh, uh, um, he has a, a Chris you, Bianco. You pizza? You talking about LA? Yeah, bro, you're not a time. <laughs> yeah, bro, yo, you fucking you're crazy right now, bro. <laughs> yo, Listen, can give me your favorite three pizzerias. Favorite three pizza rails? In, in New York City. I don't say rails. Uh, don't say rails. No, that's a, that's rails? a restaurant. Rails is a restaurant. Ray, race, race. Hey, put hey, time out hey for Rails is a restaurant. All right? Race, race pizza. Patsy's. Yeah, I got it. A lot of people say that. Uh, Costa Nostra is on 110, uh, 2nd Avenue, Spanish Harlem. It's like my home pizza. And, uh, and I'll probably go with Familia. That shit's been around forever, bro. That's Familia from the Bronx, pizza too? Rail? Huh? That's in the in the BM. Oh, no, no, hold on. Oh, no, what about hold on. Grimaldi's? What about uh? That's in Brooklyn. Bro- that's by um, that's uh, Dumbo. F- yeah, Dumbo. You never saw that spot? No. It's Great right by pizza. the water in Dumbo over there. It's like super famous. Yeah. All right. What else, Mary? What, what are your fa- what are your three favorites? I would say we have one in Brooklyn on 20th Avenue, Cafe Europa. They Europa, they, they made that. A, it was originally a pastry shop, part of Villa yeah, That's good, too. They, they make some fantastic pizza. If I'm having a regular square, I'll go to Da Vinci's Pizza. I like Da Vinci's. And my dear friend Lenny's Pizza, who I used to go all the time. I'm not going to lie to you. You look like you eat DiGiorno. <laughs> right, DiGiorno. Your pizza. sister's ass eats DiGiorno. She she does too. Mary, you rather Little Caesars or Domino's? Jeez. Domino's. Why? What? Yeah, I can't have that Little Caesar Caesar shit. You look like Little Caesar. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's, you know, it's a complex type of thing. You know, I can't have Caesar Caesar. I'm Caesar myself, you know? Like, when I walk into Atlantic City, I'll go, Hail Caesar! And you'll look at me and go, All right, go lose your money, you little fuck. That's a good joke. 
Do you get ID'd, Mario, when you go to those kind of situations? Uh, in Vegas, I did. They were like, can we see your ID? And I'm like, yo, I'm turning 50. The guy goes, I don't give a shit. Give me your ID. I'll throw you out. Oh, shit. People have a lot of questions for you, Mario. Let's go. You've been like talking. Our comments, first of all, a lot of people were saying we bullied you. Nobody bullies me right now. Let's get that clear. Camera one, camera two, where's camera three? Camera I don't one's get, not looking at you. Look, look, I'm look, look, camera I'm, three's right here. Camera three, right, 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 right there. Who oh, got him? Got him. <laughs> Fucking got him. I do not get bullied. That is not a talent. You got I bully shit. everybody. And if you don't believe that I worked with this guy right here, you go fuck yourself. No. <laughs> no, I did work with him. He's a choo <laughs> Yo, that's quadruple it down. <laughs> Yo. He's so deep yeah, in. Gonna, it's like quick. They're gonna make a documentary about this fucking lie, bro. This, Mario this Bosco. is one. I gotta Mario tell you. Bosco. You know Mario when, Bosco, when we worked, we the worked for thirty. You wanna, hear, you wanna hear a crazy one? We worked on on when we did the scene where he f- collapses in oh the nursing God. home. <laughs> in the nursing home, and he collapsed, and the girl that was working behind the desk, you know, was a dear friend of mine who worked assistant to Nick. The Toro on NYPD Blue, G- uh, Justine Michelli. And she was the one behind the computer talking Italian to his mother, saying, and she was like, I don't want to be in this place. Tony, it's okay, Mom. It's okay, Mom. No, I don't want to be. Let me tell you right now. I love you, Mary, but we could we could get off this topic now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, not to be disrespectful, I like, I, I really think we have some better people. Well, his anniversary's coming up. No, no, of course. <laughs> There's no doubt we all pay homage to. James Gandolfini, what he's done, but I, I think we got our answer on uh, if you actually met him or not. So, <laughs> oh, I, what, met so him. Mario, I remember one time I FaceTimed you and you were wearing a button down and it looked like you just woke up. I do, that's what I do. So doing. you sleep in button down. Yes, I sleep in button because when I come home, it's light, dark out, dark in the apartment, so and I, I can't put all the lights on, so I just take off my jacket, bow tie off, open my button, take off my pants, socks come off, everything comes off, and I leave just the shirt with the bow tie, with the, with the button. Oh. Time the bu- and this risky way, business. yeah, risky business. <laughs> no fucking you know why? Because it's easy the next morning. If I don't want to take a shower, I just put the bow tie back on and Yo, I put it on. you're a dirty right. little hamster, bro. Oh, my oh, God. God. So, Mary, you don't shower every day? Oh, yeah, every day. Every day. Summertime, <laughs> two times. But then, there's times, sometimes, times. like, you know, if I'm running late for work, and it's Spanish easy. There, bro. Yeah, Am I going to take a half hour shower? And, well, I take baths. I don't do showers. Baths? Yeah, I don't do showers. I can't, I you can't. You put a ducky on the side? And yeah, donkey your sister's this. The thing that pours so wait, down. So, every time you wash yourself, it has to be a full-on you bath? Dip in. Full-on bath. <laughs> First, I use uh, soft soap. <laughs> Soft soap, mango, soft soap, coconut, mango, soft um, soap. What's the temperature? <laughs> warm. How to be warm. warm. What would you say, like 63 degrees about? 75, 80. 75, I like it hot. Me, that's fucking, it's a hot tub. You put a thermometer in your bathtub? <laughs> yes, I do. It's fucking crazy. It's cooking the chicken. <laughs> Mary, do you poop in public? Uh, sometimes if I have to, like if I'm working at the restaurant, I do, absolutely. Like if I'm in Coney Island, I'll try to hold it as much as pop. I'll shouldn't. <laughs> huh? what did you I'll, say, shit a, I'll shit in a paper bag instead of Ew. sitting on one of those oh, filthy toilets. Yeah. Nah, you're weird, bro. <laughs> when, when you're at the beach, you're saying. Yeah. This is Mario Uncensored. Ken, what about you? Because I, I actually, I have a couple of friends that won't use the bathroom unless they have, this conversation happened because when we were, we were traveling uh, from Toronto, he goes, yo, I dropped the shit on the plane. I'm like, he's like, it's been a while. <laughs> and I, and I was like, I was like, yo, honestly, I kind of like to do that because you was like, Press the button and see it fly out, you know? Oh, wow. So, <laughs> you do it for the shit fly. Yeah. Nice. So, you, you know, but... Um, shit in the public? Um, yeah. Like, if, if, if you I have, have to, to go, go... Yeah, if I have to go, I gotta go. You, you gotta, gotta go. go. You gotta go. Yeah. What are you gonna do? If it's a public bathroom, I'm gonna try to clean it, cover it up. Clean it? <laughs> Fuck that. Leave nothing. Clean shit. <laughs> well, I clean that. Before I sit oh, down. Oh, before yeah. I sit down, I do clean that. I take... Yo, you, yeah, you, yeah, you don't yeah, clean up after yourself if you shit somewhere? No, he just leaves. I just slip. I flush. Off the I water. flush it. That's it. Cause da da da. What? what happened? He said, "What happens happens." Nah, I know what you said, but you just didn't sound Italian enough for me. <laughs> it's like um, back in like high school when you were taking a shit. Like, oh, somebody's taking a shit. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> damn, who in there? Look at his feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look at what the sneakers. Where's your stance on uh, public situations? I mean, you, if you gotta go, you yeah, gotta, you gotta go. go. You gotta go. You gotta go. So you but, want pee? But I'm definitely one of those. You get the. Toilet paper, put it around the yeah, seat. You know, I kept, you know? I just wipe it down twice and then. You know. spit, he's a spit oh, shine guy. I spit. <laughs> <laughs> not on the mic, not on the mic. You went crazy. 
You want a two handed <laughs> gluck gluck six thousand right you gotta, now. You gotta you gotta You gotta do it. Yeah, you gotta do it. Six thousand for this? No, no, I, I, I said the, I could chill bust. I said the gluck gluck six thousand. Gluck gluck. You know what gluck gluck is? The gluck 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 oh, like, tornado twist. No? Triple motion. <laughs> Are you taking a shit? Yo! <laughs> you riding it? Right, <laughs> right. Make it like the... Uh, yeah, keep going. Go. <laughs> Man, don't the whirly do that. twirly. <laughs> yeah. the like whirly. a spin in the cyclone, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do in Coney Island? You know, I gotta That's tell you, I, I did a movie once. And Meryl, I don't uh, care about uh, the movies, uh, bro. Yo, real Listen, Italian shit in Coney Island. Yeah, bro. I'm here to teach you a tank. Real Italian shit in Coney Island. Okay, yeah. here, you That's ready? Give him you some ready? gestures. Some gestures. Yeah, some gestures. Download translation. Speak it. Read it. It'll tell the next person. Dame una pizza bruciata. Boom. Tell the guy I want to burn pizza. Well, why would you want that? Well, I'm teaching me. How am I going to teach him a time? What do you so, want me to teach right. <laughs> Calandra's Bakery, family owned since 1962. Luciana Calandra, Sicilian immigrant, started the bakery in 1962 in Newark, New Jersey, passing it on to his grandkids. The third generation, bacon bread the old school way. Located in your nearest supermarket in New Jersey and New York. And don't forget to visit any of their three locations in New Jersey. So, yo, so, I actually thought about something. Okay, let's go. Give me something, please. I was, I was thinking about this yesterday. I had some time, and I'm like... <laughs> Give me a burn it, pizza. Something <laughs> dawned on me. Mario is our version of Beetlejuice. <laughs> like, what do you think about it? you like that or no? Yeah, like I mean, in a sense, like, he's a, like, he's a qu- character, yeah. viral. Pet Beetlejuice from Howard Stern or Beetlejuice Howard from... Howard Stern, Beetlejuice. What do you think? <laughs> You know what? It was Michael well, I don't know. Juice. You want me to stand out there and go, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Maybe in the suit. Yeah, but um, I don't want to drop names. Beetlejuice is I got to talent. work with him on Howard Stern. Who, Beetlejuice? Yeah, and he answered me, he asked me a question, and I was like, I don't even know what the fuck he, he told He me. asked you a question. What yeah, the fuck did he ask? <laughs> yeah. It was it was us in the t- it was us. I was standing like this. <sighs> First, Howard brought three pe- two kids and me, in, and he had to pick who with me was out of the, the three. And he because I was I'm wearing so a, I was right wearing there. a sweater. So, uh, so he had three other kids there, and they had to figure out if he was a kid or not. Right, oh. bingo. So gotcha, they picked gotcha. they picked he picked <laughs> me. You. The other two went on a shepherd's free to Toys R Us. I went down the slide of Howard Stern's. You get laid? How many balls you have? Uh, do you like to... Excuse me, there's a lady here. Do you like to lick or do you like to go down or do you like All to right. do... And I'm like, yo! And every two oh, minutes... Juice and, no, no, Howard. Oh, Howard. So, and every two minutes I would stop and I'm like, yo, you know, I'm on NYPD Blue. Yo, I just did a surprise. Yo, I just got for the three. Yo, he's like, oh, don't worry about that. We're going to talk about your sex life. He's like, so Gary goes, yeah, how yeah, about... Hold on, hold on. Not to cut you off, you went down a slide into Howard Stern's office where he just starts asking you questions. No, I got asked to do it because I was on NYPD Blue and they, the producer and Gary Dilabati were close. So he said, Let's bring Mario on. Yo, man, I'm not gonna lie, it's so hard to pay attention to you when you're saying a story. So they thought you was a kid the whole time? No, they knew who I was, they oh, knew man. I was an adult. But they were just being dicks. You got more stories than the Pope, Mario. That's right. You want a blessing? Oh, you want to get quick? <laughs> How was your reaction after you were on this show? I think it was the most viral moment of your career, by the way. Which show? This show. Oh, fantastic! I think I think um I think that um I like that Serlano. I have a lot of people. Oh, oh we're what's talking going about on today? <laughs> we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking yeah, about. Man, you suck. Uh, yeah. I I gotta say that. Growing up Italian podcast is a fantastic thing for my career. All jokes aside, it's. It, Turned my career around. We went from um, three thousand to uh, fourteen thousand nine hundred, and in TikTok, Those are rookie numbers. TikTok, I got nineteen thousand one hundred. So if you motherfuckers <clears throat> want to follow me, I'm, I'll follow you back. What? You, you, you know, be dancing on TikTok? What? You be dancing on TikTok? I ain't dancing well, shit. What about you? You dress up as Cupid. He's being a thought. Yeah, that's true. Cupid. Be in your underwear. Bloop, you won't be bloop, dancing. Bloop 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 bloop. Remember Cupid? Bloop bloop. <laughs> Bloop, bloop. Man, what, did, what did you take Put before this? fingers away, bro. I just <laughs> had some of this fantastic, fantastic crema de café at Anthony's and Sons downstairs. So if you remember me the last time, I had like six uh, spoons of sugar in my espresso. Oh, can we make uh, another espresso, actually? 
Yeah. I think we need I to. I have we this need beautiful one. Crema de Café. I'm doing a commercial for Crema de Café. All right. Com- and you, and, and I'm, you're I'm going to go to Ken on this one while you're sucking away. On the Crema. All right. Take <laughs> so, the Crema. Ken, you've been in the game for a while. Yeah, man. So to see, like, the come up. It's crazy, bro. Because at that time, when did you start? 2015? Yeah, 2015. Yeah, you're one of the first like you're Instagram comedians. You were one of the sketch creators, right? The, the, the skit style. Yeah. So seeing how the game has changed, meaning TikTok blowing up people randomly and putting them on another platform, how you feel about that? Like, you think it's good for I, the I community? Really, uh, I don't know. I really just be paying paying attention to what I do. I like so, that. Like, I stick to my guns and. Yeah, but he's not asking what you do. He's asking, do you think that it's a good idea that TikTok is helping young comedians like us up and coming? Who you ask the question? My Italian ass or your Italian ass? (laughs) Yeah, but... My Italian ass, so yeah. (laughs) Do you like TikTok? You like it? I I be on TikTok, but I feel like TikTok is is for for young users. I mean, it's a lot of dancing and stuff like that. I can't really do the skit stuff on TikTok because I get to block my own. Yeah, yeah they do censor a lot of things. Yeah, they censor too much. What happened with Instagram Live? Why did they take it away from you? Because I always see you posting about yeah, Instagram. Bro, I, I be uh, online bullying. That's what they got me. And we, now we real life bullying. Yeah. <laughs> Not real life bullying, but online bullying. Yeah. So you yeah. say that we're going to get canceled because we have you on this chair today? No, no, we're not going to get canceled. Go get Hopefully Big Fat Joe. Let's go. <laughs> oh, do, do you know Joe Gambino, our other guy? Joe Gambino. I'll show you some of his stuff, but um, he's he's the big guy, like bigger set guy that he wears like the suits all the time. I think I know. He's with Nico post him sometimes. All right, he got the uh, hair slick back. Yeah, up yeah. I got you. Yeah, he's a, he's another character. Right, where's your questions? You said I got. Uh, well, I wanted you to show him some gestures, like gestures. and what they mean. But go slow, yes. go slow, one by hey, one. Why do we, why do Italians do this a lot? We do this because we're telling people, hey yo, Anika, a fungal. That's one of the gestures. Uh, Not at all, but okay. Um, yeah. This This is like, how you doing? Like, how this is how doing? you doing. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Then it's it, could use for anything. The thing is that this is how you doing. This is Venica. Um, uh, what's the matter for what, you? What? What, this one? This one, my fungula? No, no. Oh, but, oh, this one is, this is the, uh, <laughs> let's go. Right? Yeah. That's yeah. Good. This, <laughs> that's what that means. Yeah, yes, like, this, like this, yeah. this is my Yes, that's the Vafangulo. Um, Godfather, one, two, or three? Three. That's Italian, the worst bro. one, man. You're not Italian, bro. I'm going to tell you that one. right now. I'm more Italian than you would ever think I am. Yeah, bro. They used to call me mozzarella tits. Mozzarella tits. Cause <laughs> you know you why? Because you were a cheese eater. Okay. No. I'm asking. You know why? No. I'm just asking. I, I really don't know. Like, <laughs> so what I happened? You know no, I really don't know. They just, just so where are your fresh mozzarellas now? Oh, they're my jacket. Keep them warm. <laughs> but we should do it. We should trip quiz them on who's more Italian. Yeah, let's, let's do it. All right. <clears throat> all right, Rock. We're going to do... We're going one for one. Let's all go. right? All right, Ken, coming to you. All right. Let's do this. And then, Mario, you're next. Ken, well, I've been waiting for this for a long time, time bro. How do you spell macaroni? Come on, bro. M-A-C-A-R-O-N-I. All right, yeah. I'll take it. One for one. All right. Ronnie. We should ask him something different. <laughs> How do you spell prosciutto? Pro, P O U. No, P R O U C. One point. One point for Ken. Right. Let me get that 1% of right. one point more time. All right, so me. it's All right, Ken. One to zero. Coming back to you, Ken. Let's go. Give me one Italian city. Hmm. Like in Italy? A yeah. city in Italy. Sicily in, uh, city in Italy. Sicily. <laughs> I work nah, so. I mean, no. That's a, All right. It's we'll like accept it. region. We'll accept it. We'll accept okay. it. Me? All right. Salerno? All right. No, no, no. Campania? No, 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 no. For oh. you, you know, we expect a little more here. Okay, let's go. All right. There's one country. There's actually two countries in Italy. Can you name one of them? That are not, that's not Italy. Well, so Sicily. in Italy, Sicily. in Italy... There's two other countries. Sicily, right? No. 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 See, uh, see people would think on, that. Hold but. on. Um, is it Greece? No. Mediterranean? Greece is no. Italy? It's the Vatican City. Vatican City. I'm a fun rule of Vatican City. <laughs> the Vatican City. You, knew you knew that, that one? one? You know that one? Yeah. And I think it's either Malta or San Marino. 
And San Marino. San Marino, San Marino. yes. It's, own, it's its own providence. Mario, mm-hmm. 0 for 2. Let's What's go. going on here? This guy's not I don't know. Not a time, right. bro. Let's, let's do time. this. Mario, give me your best three Italian-American movies in order, and then we'll have Ken do the same. Okay. In order. I got, I'm going to beat Ken on this one. One, two, three. One. Life is Beautiful. That's not, I don't know if that's Italian a Italian American. American. Sure, it's Italian it's, American. That's Roberto Benigni, right? Roberto Benigni, Life is Beautiful. It was made in Italy. It was showed here. Right, but it's a Italian um, movie. Uh, let's see. What's the other one? Um, uh, do, 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 hold on a second. Great movie, though. I'll give you that. Great movie. Um, uh, I think I know what Cinema you're Paradiso. Yeah. Cinema Paradiso, not a fantastic. You like all these underdog ones. Um, yeah, these are wholesome. Uh, Can I go now? No, I got one more. Guy, I spent huh? Um, Italian American movies. Uh, the one with Sophia Loren. Uh, <laughs> Sophia Loren and Marcello Mastriani. Yeah, yeah, that's another great one. That's a fantastic yeah, yeah. one. Um, when she's I, selling I secrets name, when she's pregnant. Yeah, um, that's a great movie. That. <laughs> <laughs> no, you no, never seen it? It's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, it's one my of mom my watches f- that every week. I love it. I love it. It's one of my favorite ones. But what the hell's the name of it? Oh my god, I have to look it up. I don't right, have my. Right, we're gonna go over to Ken. But mentioned a lot of bootleg movies, bro. <laughs> These are really fantastic movies. Cinema well, Paradiso is a, a really fantastic. Paradiso. Paradiso. Cinema Paradiso. Not Paradiso. Paradiso. Yeah. It's about a filmmaker who's who's a little boy who lost his dad in the war and he comes back. It's a beautiful movie. Beautiful, yeah, beautiful, beautiful film. Bro. What about uh, Robert De Beni- Roberto Benigni's other <laughs> film um, with the banana? Uh, star banana. Banana. <laughs> banana. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> this, this podcast Ken, what, is all over the place. What, uh, what's your What's your three? Give us your banana three. Banana music. Um. <laughs> Casino, Godfellas. I said Godfellas. Casino's number one for you? No, no. I would say Goodfellas is number one for me. I like Casino and then uh, Godfather 2. I got to give it to Ken. Oh, that's a talent. I, like I don't think so. Why that's should you Godfather get that? Godfather 2, bro? That, bro, look at for those American-made movies. They don't even exist in Italy. You go, you want an Italian-American movie that doesn't exist. Life is beautiful. Cinema Paradiso from 1970. Right, Mario, is it Rainbow Cookie or Tricolor Cookie? Rainbow. Oh no, tre colori. Depends how you who you say to because it's tre colori, che rainbow, the fenente, whatever you pick. Are you a fan of rainbow cookies, Ken, or no? I got a little bit with cookies. He's a cookie I like guy. Cookies. Is, do you I'm know, a cookieologist. What's a seven layer cookie? It's a, it's a cookie with seven layers. He's not wrong. <laughs> he's not wrong. I'm not, not wrong. wrong. No, not. he's wrong because he just gave it to you. It's a rainbow or a rum. Tricolor. Tricolor. Yes, so you guys are both Tricolor is not really the right name for it because Tricolor is tre colore. It really is seven layers or seven colore. I'm not convinced. No, yeah. all right. Next. Let's go. Go for the next. So I feel Mario's more on, um, like he's doing shows every night and all these comedy shows opening up, right? Yep. I just, all kinds. Ken's more that Instagram... Funny I, host, it's like, I host weed events and shit. Bro, that, that, that Jeffrey Dahmer series oh, you did, you, bro, bro, was hilarious. Appreciate that, man. So what? how did you think of like to even do that? What was like the inspiration? I mean, obviously, the series was super, super viral. Yeah, yeah, it did. And it when something's like viral on Netflix, I feel it's like a whole... Yeah, that's what, you, that's what people usually do. Like to, when something's trending on Netflix, they'll go turn it into skits and then... Yeah, that's usually what you do. Like whatever's trendy, you'll... Yeah. Depending on what it is, but like movies and stuff like that, like the Dahmer shit. Uh, I took I took a chance doing that, bro. I just had to make sure I wasn't going overboard and uh, not saying. How do you did over overboard? I mean, the people like I got I got some comments like there was one girl talking about oh that was my brother that got killed in that oh really yeah, oh there really, was some people really, really. that were mad because okay that, like that I could see like, actually it's not a joke you know yeah, people like really that, died and stuff and yeah. shit. But, like, instead of me talking about the murder, I, I was talking about coming over to my house to play video games. Yeah, yeah, like NBA 2K. Yeah. Like, so I got shit. NBA 2K. That was mad funny. <laughs> the acting where you, like, smacked the guy and a running, bro, was so funny. <laughs> Even when um the wrestling stuff you do, I'm a fan of. Oh, yeah, the NWO. Shout out to my boy, Tim Ham Rivera. Yeah, he's going he's going crazy with that. Yeah, he does Subway Mania, bro. They be in the trains yeah, yeah. wrestling and all that. That one, Tim is the one you say. He dresses up as a couple of them, right? Yeah, he dresses as a couple of them. His main one's like Hulk Hogan and shit, but he dresses up as everybody. And you're exclusively uh, Razor Ramon, Yeah, right? I'm just Razor Ramon, bro. <laughs> I didn't know that was a real thing, bro. 
The Subway Mania? Yeah, bro. I thought I that was it. just oh, a gimmick. No, know? but they film it every time. It's yeah, not... they film it, yeah. yeah. It's, it, but it's been like, they got a lot of notoriety for that shit, bro. New York City, man. Are you, are you a big fan yeah. of wrestling or no? Yeah, I'm a big fan of wrestling. I love wrestling, bro. So we got two New Yorkers here from different different walks of life, you know? One's more we, Italian. Who's, one's yeah. more Italian than the other, you know, obviously. But what do you, what do you love about being from New York? I guess because it's, it's it's like home. It's like it's so small, but it's so big at the same time, and like everybody knows everybody. Mm-hmm. And I guess it's our, our attitude, our swag. We don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. Like we're the greatest city on earth, man. And that that, that went to everybody's head. I yeah. guess. Yeah, you, know? you said it perfectly. <laughs> How do you feel like about a lot of New Yorkers moving to Florida? I mean, during the pandemic, I, I yeah. went there to do shows, but, you know, I wouldn't live there because, to me, it's not home. I, like, even though, like, a lot of the guys from the neighborhood came out, they were there, and I'm like, oh, okay, cool, but it's not home. You know, like, I could come out of my house in Brooklyn, go play cards any night of the week. You go over there, you got to go to the casino, and I'm like, you know. <laughs> and That's the, the biggest difference for you? That you well, it's, it's a big difference, the pizza, the food. The pastries, the cannolis. They're like, oh, we got the best of cannoli. Your sister says, take a walk you in their fucking cannoli. I love that line, huh? Oh, yeah, that's my favorite. That, did you make up that line? Uh, no, no. Little Mo made up that line. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't want to get in trouble. Mm. <laughs> I feel like New York and Miami has like a little beef, though. Like, yeah, I mean, especially beef. especially from, I mean, uh, when the whole basketball thing. Um, oh, of you course, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just felt like. I it's think like, every I think Boston and New York have beefs. Like if I, I went into Mike's um pastry shop on uh, on the north end and I said, Hey, your cannolis, they're not real and the guy went, Wah And like and then I walked into um I was doing a show there and I walked into one of the social clubs and go, Hey, I wanna give you little flies for the show go, Get out This is not for you And <laughs> and and it's like they're strong. I think What city <laughs> Is New York's biggest rival as far? Okay, New York. We're gonna all say New York's number one because we're from here. Well, we're from New York. I would say Jersey. Jer- no, you say no. Jersey number two. I think I'd Jersey. Say Boston, sucks. Uh, no, I say Boston. No, I say rivalry. Rivalry. There is no rivalry. There is no rivalry. No? <laughs> I, I. You wouldn't say Miami is number two in that sense. We talking about nightlife. Yeah, I mean, no, like as let's say Ken, you had to pick somewhere else to live for some reason. What? Where are you picking? Not in the United States. No? Uh, <laughs> You're moving tropical? I mean, I could, yeah, I'll probably go tropical. My man, sure. out here. He out here. He out here, bro. What about you, Mario? Oh, um. Two hands on the mic, bro. I can't. Well, <laughs> you said it's $6,000. If I drop it, I break it, I buy it. Fuck that. I ain't buying shit. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, I'm going to steal some swag from the wall over here. Um, if I had no, to you leave. You need me. Adderall in the worst way. You need Adderall for me? Yeah, Did you need Adderall on me. <laughs> um, I, I gotta say, I gotta say, the rivalry with her for us would be Boston because Boston is very like you know. If I had a move, maybe Canada, but I can't stand that. We're like, are you Canadian? Me Canadian? And what I don't eh? like is that the worst um. Accent. And what I like, it yes, it's a bad accent. Okay, I don't do Canadian. Woman, do Arabic or yuck right, No, 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 no um, <laughs> um, I would say I would probably go to Florida, Boca, what's Bo- or L.A. The, the L.A. Boca Vista. Uh, Boca Vista. I go to L.A. I will go to L.A. That's where I would. That's where I, I would. I would yeah, go. You know, that's what I would say. Uh, L.A. It would be New York versus L.A. Like, oh, like you know two what? Big cities. Yeah. And it's the opposite side. Yeah, but for rivalry, it would be New York and Boston. Yeah, yeah for rivalry, I, for rivalry, New York, New York and Boston, absolutely, because yeah. they hate us and we hate them just what about as for much. For Italians, for Italians, what's our biggest rival? Let me answer that. I got you. Oh uh, yeah. Well, every part of Italy hates each other. Yeah, that is. You not. go, you go, <laughs> you go. You tell Sicilian. Italians don't even like each other. Yeah, we don't like each other. Like you go to Italian, a guy goes to Napoli, that, and he goes. Ask you a question, then yeah. I'm sorry. You go. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, God, but you're Italian. Talk, no, that's how I don't talk, man. I'll say you're Italian, no, the mean, you know, meaning you're a dickhead Italian. Like, you know, like, I've, I work with a friend of mine, and he says he's from Torino. He's from Torino, and he thinks he's, like, top-notch Torino. He's like, you also know Torino, he's from Torino. And, like, he'll go, but I'm from Torino, but I'm from Torino. Like, you don't say it right. I'm from Torino. That's how you say it. Gula. Gula. Where are you going to ask him? All right. Now that I know there's little Italy over here, uh-huh. there's a little Italy in Brooklyn. Um, uh, yeah. Well, uh, not in Brooklyn. The no, little Italy Brooklyn. that's like is that little Italy in my hand. Yes. And there's little Italy in the Bronx. Yeah. yeah. Yes. You guys beef? 
No. We don't, we're all one. We're the little only New York City, the Bronx. And they <laughs> I hate to say it, but you're not representing. We're all one. <laughs> and, there's, <laughs> and, there's, and there's little Italy in Brooklyn, too. Right, we have so, 18th Avenue. So, like, Avenue. where he's from, like, Bensonhurst, there used to be a lot of Italians, and they all moved. That's, like, the most Italian part of Brooklyn, I would say. Right. But this used to be a huge, like, you know, Italians just took over, like, different neighborhoods, but then... They just like all flee once they get some money and could buy a house. They leave. That's the la vista. Oh. So, honestly, though, as far as like Little Italy, Arthur Ave, I do think like people from the Bronx that area always say Arthur Ave is the real Little Italy mm. because you could go get like everything you need. You know, like for shopping, eating. Well, we have that in Brooklyn. We have Villa Bati. We have the fish store. We have Chinese stores. We have grocery stores. We have supermarkets. You said Little Italy. You, you said... Little Italy. We have Little Italy in Brooklyn. 18th Avenue, 20th Avenue, 13th Avenue, 15th Avenue, uh, 17th Avenue. What? That's not Little Italy. Sure it is. Absolutely. Go to 13th Avenue to Italiani. Nah. See, the, my problem what? with B- Bensonhurst and 18th Avenue people is you get the... How you doing, guys? Right? That's oh, that's your And then you got Williamsburg, where it's like the OG Italians. Like what OG? What's off the, the boat. The really OG respectful. off the boat is in, in, in Manhattan, is in Cherry Street. Like, all the Italians, all the immigrants, they came in, they went to Cherry Street, King Street. That's where they went. What about Queen and Orange Street? No, they didn't go to Queen and they Orange. They went to Cherry, but not They orange. went to Cherry, they went to King. <laughs> how, about, how about Queen Street? There's no Queen Street. Queen Street. Ken, could you give uh, Mario any advice on how to grow on social media? Oh, I was going to be more Italian. Yeah, or, or, both, actually. Those <laughs> actually, are, both? Uh, right. a, a part two question. We can start with the Instagram first, because that's easier. Because he's very interested in growing social media. I'll be honest with And I don't know if you saw how many followers, Ken, but he's doing his thing. I'll be Go. honest with you, bro. I've had nine pages. Believe. The page I'm on now is my 10th page. So... Why do you That's have crazy, this page? Actually. Why did they delete your page? I did a lot of risky stuff on Instagram, a lot of risky sketches. So the little marijuana? And it's like one strike, you, each one? Or? Nah, but is that, I, I, got, I still got stuff from like two years ago, like violations from oh two years God. ago I'm still in my account that don't want to leave and shit. But, um, have you reached out to them? <laughs> sort of, but not really. <laughs> you said it so politely. Yeah, I know. I mean, well, what do you want me to say? It's to reach out to Instagram. Instagram. Maybe, maybe, maybe you could have a coffee date with Instagram. Well, no, you got a coffee date. Yeah. Maybe you could have your attorney call them up and say, hey, look, we're looking to sue. It's not open. that serious. It's a, it's a free app. That, that's how I see it, bro. It's a free app. Too. Yeah, it's a Yo, free I app. I love his like, laid back attitude. Me, I'll be freaking out. Nah, yeah. bro, I mean, after it happened the first time I freaked out, then I'm going to freak out every time. I can't. Yeah. So it's whatever. How many followers altogether did each page? Like, the first seen, one, how I many was it? 400,000 three times. 400,000 followers three That's times. That's crazy if you think time. about it. And then this this year, my page got deleted one time this year. Then I got it back. So what's your strategy when you lose one? You just Cons- say, uh, consistency. post everything again? Consistency, bro. Consistency. You still have the old videos that you like? Nah. Nah, nah I just Holy I'll scrap you, it and start all over. Do it all over. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, man. And this page, this, this is the page I had since like 2000. This is my last backup page. I had it at 2013. Knock on wood. So you so you gotta make like backup pages for yeah, but I don't even do that anymore, bro. Right now I'm just all right, cool. They delete me, I'll do it again. But you don't take as much risk anymore. Nah, that I don't do. Yeah, I stop all the little risky yeah, yeah. videos yeah, and yeah. shit. But, yeah. Like what were you putting on there? Porn. Yeah. But like porn comedy. Yeah, yeah, like you know, like funny, funny sexual shit. You know? That stuff goes crazy. Mary, you should try to do that. Oh uh, yeah. But not, not not saying that that that'll grow your following or whatever. No, but, yeah. Be co- being consistent is the, my best advice, bro. Yeah, Drop sure. videos every day. Well, that's something I don't do. So you, you your goal is to do one a day? No, I used to do three a day, bro. That's and wild. Then, um, now I'm taking my time because I'm working on another project right now. I'm working on my own show. So I've just been chilling with my page. I'll post some good stuff throughout the week. Post like once, twice out the week, three times out the week. Uh, my fr- One of my buddies... You know, on a growing up in town, we post like four or five times a day. And he posts, like you said, like once or twice a week. And he said that the less people see you, the more likely they are to unfollow you. Is that why you're saying that? Like, let's say if I see Ken Stars, like every time I look on the phone, I'm like, oh, he's, I can unfollow him. But that, that's right there. That's cool if they come follow me. But there's a a bunch of people that are going to follow me. 
for every person I unfollows, I'm going to get a bunch of people because when you post a lot, a lot, a lot, you're going to end up in the Explorer page. You're going to end up everywhere. Yeah. People are going to see it. Bro. Do you play the comedy <laughs> shop? Huh? The comedy shop in the village. No, no, no. Where did I see you last? Uh, I asked <laughs> some questions. Jeez, bro. Broadway? I asked you some questions like a month ago, right? <laughs> yeah, a month ago. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Right here in the village. Actually... St. Patty's Day it was. Oh, St. Patrick's Day it was. Because he, had, right. he oh. had March. Yeah, St. Patrick's. You remember? Yeah, you no. You dressed as a leprechaun? Yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember yeah. the question I asked you? Yeah, no. Right. Are we allowed to ask that? I mean, you know I, don't I would ask Where that. Where is that? I, yeah. I want to see it. Where it's, was it? I'll let you know. It's going to be on Revolt soon. Like nice. Top What's secret, on? top secret. Oh, so I asked him, uh, would you rather have fingers for dicks or dicks for fingers? <laughs> and what was your answer, Mario? Fingers for dicks or dicks for fingers? Probably dicks Say for fingers. Say that five times right? fast. Dicks for fingers, dicks for fingers, dicks for fingers, dicks for fingers, dicks for fingers. So wait, what's your answer, Mara? Dicks for fingers. Dicks. Now you could fuck with f- ten, f- excuse me, you could fuck with ten fingers, but you can't, you can't have one dick on one, you know? <laughs> Fingers okay. for dicks. You can't. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Sure, sure. <laughs> so, Mario, we went to one of your comedy shows. And uh, we like vlogged it a little bit, and the people went crazy. What makes a good comedy show? A good audience, you know. Like I, I did a show uh, in Jersey Saturday night, and there was only like forty people in the audience, it was, and it was like the deep end of shithead Jersey, and it was in Mars Plains, and. And the owner's not gonna have to be happy with that one. Okay, so we, and the, the the crowd. I'm not was, editing anything from this podcast. The crowd though. was fantastic, <laughs> fan fantastic crowd. Crowd was just off the rock, and then you could do a show. So at, forty people was rocking. It was rocking. For I've done shows in in Florida at the Boca Black Box. There was two people. Two. You did a show for two people. Yeah, the first show we that's did. That's not a show. That's a conversation. Oh, well, that's a threesome. You bro. know, <laughs> it's basically it's a threesome. But you know, it's like, what are you gonna do? You know, you can't. You're there to you're there to perform. You're not there to um. You gotta do your job. Yeah. Can you give us any comments. new jokes? Because when when I actually went to your show, some of the jokes you said on the podcast. Right. And yeah. I told you, Mary, you need some new jokes. Well, I'm so. working on some new jokes. I have a few new things in the work, but you know. I was reading Steve Harvey's uh, comment, and I used that when I feel like... What comment? He, write, he wrote that you have to have reputation. Reputa- how you build your empires with repetition. Meaning that you, he told the same jokes over and over again for like 20 years until he built an empire. What he has So that's the strategy you're going with? No, I'm not going with that strategy. I mean, I'm writing every day. I'm working on stuff every day. So but what's, what's your one line? Like, what's your go-to joke? What's the first thing you say when you get on stage? Uh, if you're looking at why I'm like this, it's because my mother fucked Mickey Mouse. And yeah, they usually they laugh, and I go, thank God she didn't fuck the seven dwarfs. Oh, yeah, you said that on the podcast. Yeah. I did, yeah. Um, you have, like Sabino said, you are you annoyed another? by his jokes or something? I, I, I heard him like 14 times, I didn't bro. see you laugh. And I heard that 14 times, bro. You I got a question for 14. Sabino. Yeah, you look crazy. I don't okay. mind. <laughs> I got a question for Sabino. I never had the pleasure of uh, going to one of Mario's comedy shows. So, unbiased opinion... How was Mario's comedy show? He had a couple of funny jokes. I have a lot of funny jokes. It was just the crowd was in like, you know, they were little, you know, when you That's have a crowd. Yeah, but, yeah, but he did, crowd. there was one joke that didn't hit and he was like, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Wake up. Wake up. up. Yeah. No, no, but like, you know, imagine like I'm saying a joke and you don't laugh. Here's the thing. He said after the crowd, come on, guys. You know what Wake up. No. You know what was wrong with that night? I'm going to tell you. The service for the food went late. Okay, the people. I'm not blaming anybody. I, I take my own faults when I have my own faults. This but is not the show. I, you're talking about another show. The show that you came at, the one at the um at the restaurant at Vince's place. We're, we're saying that people were mad about the food. That's why they weren't. No, no. Food? But when when service on uh, food. No, no. I listen. can't believe you're going that route. I'm going that's that crazy. route. I said <laughs> I I play. Jones Beach, there was 4,800 people. It was a fantastic crowd. I had a great time. They loved me and did 20 minutes. Not a problem. Food in Jones Beach sucks, though. I don't care if that food in Jones Beach. It wasn't your phone. It was people sitting down and watching. It was a free, free show. Free 99? Free 99 show. Uh, there was about 4,800. Who are some of your favorite comedians? Stand up. I like classic. So I would say um, Don Rickles. Jesus. Uh, I don't yeah. know what that is. I would say, um, 
I would say Sabino Maniscalco for th- Sabi- Sebastian, Sebastian Maniscalco. Yeah, Sabino. His cousin. He loves Sabino. He Sebastian, loves Sabino. Sebastian Maniscalco for the Italian humor. I try to get off of that. Um, Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby. You love Bill Cosby, huh? Bill Cosby. And I'm going to tell you what, because he taught me a lot. Hopefully he didn't teach you too oh, much. Word. Yeah, that's I think you should stop right there. Man. <laughs> Should be about to go in right now. To be honest with you. No, you Ken, did. who are your favorite? None of the ones he said. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck those guys. <laughs> why Why don't you like Bill Cosby? Oh, no. Right, no. I actually, you know what? I'll tell you a true story about Bill Cosby. I think he's a dick, bro. When I was young, I was like uh, 11 years old. He was shooting the Cosby Mysteries in Central Park. I was. I worked on that. Jesus Christ. Rita Moreno. Yeah, we're sure so, you. All right, can tell a story? The Cosby, mystery, the Cosby Mysteries or whatever. Okay. So I'm with my pops, and I'm like, oh, shit, it's Bill Cosby. Why it's Bill Cosby? Like, whatever. I go up to him. I'm like, Bill Cosby, my God, it's so dope to meet you. Hey, my name is Mr. Cosby. Yo, he did that to me. I was like, he's one of those, huh? You know I look back to my pops. Yo, pa, he's a dick. <laughs> he's a dick, bro. Now, so you didn't even like you didn't I ask for a picture, autograph, nothing. Nothing, bro. Nothing. Now your audience is not gonna Mr. believe Cosby. me. Your audience is not gonna believe me, but I'm gonna say. Do they have a reason to? I was there when this happened, and I remember it like what this. What are the odds, bro? Cut everything off. <laughs> Cut it, I'm out of here. Yo, what are the odds <laughs> that you were there? Yo. Yo. I'm telling you. You really are Jesus Christ himself. Yeah, really. Dude, I'm oh, not Jesus in the hot Christ. Tub time machine. Listen, me, you we, met up with me. You remember this? Yes, we filmed. <laughs> we were filming in front of a hotel in I New feel York like City. Like Baby Yoda. Listen, mate. Listen, mate. We were filming in front of a hotel, and this was a crime scene that he was investigating. This was supposed to be something like it was Robert Culp. I think was in that episode that he that he went up to. It was Robert Culp, Rita Moreno, and Mr. Cosby. I remember like yesterday we were Mr. Cosby. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> so you call him Mr. Cosby All the time Anytime I was on set Did whenever you call I him whatever came, he wanted? I never called him Bill you I never. I always yeah. said Mr. Cosby <laughs> Did you have drinks with him? No hmm? Never drinks Alright So you remember One of Ken's childhood memories <laughs> Alright we're, we're, we're gonna Alright It was right. in the future it's Ken the future. so you were 11 Yeah bro We're, we're gonna do some math Okay uh, how many years ago was that? Do you know? That was that was, was nineteen ninety. Because I want I want to fact check this little fucker. That was nineteen ninety four. Does that end up? Was it nineteen ninety four? Nah. Yeah. Nah, that's all right, bro. And yes. I'll tell you right now, where he got it wrong, he didn't hear me in the beginning of the story. Was I said it was in Central Park? He was shooting it in Central Park. No, the one the then it wasn't you because we had one at the whole time. <laughs> then it wasn't me. Back it up. Listen to me. He Cosby show ended in 1992. Cosby mystery started in 94 because he did a quiz show that didn't go like who, 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 whose who's line is it anyway with a puppet he did with the kids. So that didn't go. After we did that, we only did that for two seasons, the Cosby mystery. Then he did Cosby. We went back to Kaufman Astoria Studio with Rita, um, with, not Rita uh, Felicia Rashad, Bill Cosby, and then the teenage daughter. I don't remember her name. But I'm so done with this conversation. On that, on that note, oh, yeah. thank you guys for tuning in. <laughs> Ken, thank you for coming, Mario. No, we no, should no, 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 hold on. We got more questions. We got more questions. Oh, <laughs> oh, sit tight, sit tight. It says, let's go. Let's go with the questions. You said, Mario here. you've been telling me I got a lot of questions for you. Then you said to me when I came in, the question list is thick. Let's go. Mario. Yes. What makes a good pizza? The dough. The, the if you use in uh, La Farina, the semolina dough. farina. If you use a semolina farina, you're gonna have a really nice dough. Okay. Is it just the dough? Well, the dough, the ingredients, the like the salsa. I like crispy angle because the French are uses the sauce. Salsa? The sauce, sauce, la salsa, la salsa. In Italian, se chiama la salsa. No salsa is Mexicana. La salsa, <laughs> la salsa <laughs> delle pomodori. <laughs> okay. Wait, why did you say Mexican? What makes, what makes well, a good Mexican chicken color, color Mario? What makes it? Oh, ask him wrong. Ask no, you do, you do. What makes a good chicken color? A good chicken color has to be nice and thin, but not too thin. I like it a little fluffy where the chicken has to have a little juice in it. Like when you cut it, it's got to have a little flavor. Otherwise, you could hang it on the wall like a painting. You ever made a chicken color? Yes, many times. Many times. I don't do the flour shit. I just do egg, breadcrumb, egg, breadcrumb. Dip it right into the frying pan with a little garlic, a little olive oil, a couple of flips around, and take it out. Beautiful. What's up? Right. Do you have ever pasta cool with breadcrumb? 
I love spaghetti. Nah, you can't say breadcrumb in Italian, then you're not Italian. Well, modica. I thought it's modica. modica. La pasta, oh, la pasta oh, con la modica. Yeah. Yeah. That was my favorite. Yeah. What about pasta ricotta? Do you have pasta ricotta? No, I never had that. You never had pasta ricotta? <gasps> my God, I, mean, I would love pasta ricotta. The shell pastas with the ricotta. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. fantastic. Next. Right. No, what I wanted to ask you last episode, Sabina asked you, but a lot of people are asking again. And this is, I could say whatever, right? Yeah. You sure? All right, so how old are you, Mario? I just turned 50 January 19th. 50 years young. All right, and what do you... I don't know about young, but... No, you look great. What do you identify as? Male. What are you talking about? I'm a guy. No, I just, that's one of the questions... You got a bitch deal? Yeah, I got a bitch deal. What? <laughs> you, got a, you got a pickle? Yeah. <laughs> then you got a deal? Yeah, you got a bitch deal. Bitch <laughs> deal. Bitch deal. <laughs> One joke before we go, and then we'll wrap up. Yeah, give us your best one, joke. One joke, come on. Uh, your best joke. Let's, let's just hope you haven't heard it. Just, just one I, don't know, I don't know if I did the champagne one. Don't, oh, you didn't do right, yeah. As long as you yeah. don't say the Sonic joke, because I know that one. No, the Sonic joke. You, know, you probably know the champagne one. This is really true. This was in Vegas, and I was at the Venetian having some dinner. Um, this was right before my show with the Jimmy Kimmel Comedy Club, and... Uh, some dumb waiter, this bacala, he brings me someone else's glass of champagne. Uh, what would you guys do? I'll just say, you didn't bring this to me. Can you? Oh, if it was good, I'll keep it. Keep yeah. it, right? You would drink yeah. it. I drank it, but guess what, guys? There was an engagement ring in it. You drank it with the ring? Yeah, oh shit, now this poor bastard has to wait four days to get engaged. <laughs> <laughs> The Joe clicked. That's actually do you want do you want to give bad. any any shout outs, Mario, or maybe call anybody out because Listen, you know, we had some out. people talk saying your shit. That, talk your shit right now to all those haters that write nasty stuff to all you angry little ooh, motherfucking ooh. leopards, um, your little chirpers that have nothing chirpers. better to say, nothing nice. <laughs> Keep your comments to yourself; it's offensive, and I will knock you off your ass and report you. The That's Italian. Wow. Uh, so you're basically being a snitch. Wait. Yeah, you're not. You're Listen. not Italian, and you're a cop. Fucking <laughs> 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 crazy, bro. Fucking crazy. You're bro. hot, bro. You know, on, that, on that, on that, on that, wire on him. Okay, so next. Anything else, Ken? <laughs> Anything else that you want to? Nah, man. I, I appreciate you having me. I like to have. Well, thank you for coming. For I appreciate real, it. Quite, this was quite the introduction. Oh wait, y'all make the best sandwiches in Brooklyn, man. I appreciate you. Let me the cafe. Your mother can fit right here. Yeah, that shit's fucking your head up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. That's it. Thank you. All right. <laughs>